Hello guys, this is another lecture on assignment problem. In today's lecture, we will study unbalanced assignment problem. So for this, we are taking one or two examples. The first example is solve the following minimal assignment problem. You see, in this problem, there are five jobs and six persons available here. That is A, B, C, D, E are the jobs and these are the persons. And we have to assign each job to each person. And any person or any job cannot be unfilled. First C, what is the first condition? First condition, the problem should be minimized. C, whether problem is minimized or not, solve the following minimal assignment problem. So the problem is minimized. The second step is problem should be balanced and in this particular problem there are 5 jobs and 6 number of persons. So this is unbalanced problem and since this is an unbalanced problem so we have to balance it by adding dummy row or dummy column. See there are 6 number of columns and 5 number of rows. So, what should we have to add? We have to add one row with zero entries. <laughs> Problem is unbalanced. So, we have to balance it by adding dummy row. So add a dummy row and make a new matrix. Now this is the balanced problem. Here we add a dummy row with zero entry. Now we have to move to the next step that is we have to minimize the row. And how to minimize the row? By subtracting minimum element from each row. That is in the very first row we have a minimum element is 8. So we have to subtract this 8 from all the element of this particular row. That is, after subtracting, what do we get? 12 minus 8, 4, 10 minus 8, 2, 15 minus 8, 7, 22 minus 8, 14, 18 minus 8, 10 and 8 minus 8, 0. In the second row, the minimum element is 10. So we have to subtract 10 from each element. 0, 8, 15, 5, 6 and 2. In the third row, the minimum element is 3. So, subtract it. So, 11 minus 3, 8. 10 minus 3, 7. 3 minus 3, 0. 8 minus 3, 5. 5 minus 3, 2. And 9 minus 3, 6. In the fourth row, the minimum element is 6. So, subtract it. 0. 14 minus 6. 8. 10 minus 6, 4, 13 minus 6, 7, 13 minus 6, 7, and 12 minus 6, 6. And the, in the fifth row, the minimum element is 7. So subtract it 8 minus 7, 1, 12 minus 7, 5, 11 minus 7, 4, 7 minus 7, 0, 13 minus 7, 6, and 10 minus 7, 3. And the last row contains all the element equals to 0. So, there is no need to subtract because all element remains as it is. Now check whether all the columns have zeros or not. In this particular matrix where we add dummy row or dummy column, if we add dummy row then no need to move to the next step that is to minimize the column. If we add col dummy column then no need to perform to minimize the row. We can directly apply to minimize the column. So in this particular problem all columns already have zeros. So no need to apply this particular step that is we have to move to the directly putting assignment that is we have to put an assignment. In the fourth step what we have to write? The fourth step was to minimize 
the column. So in this particular step, what we have to write? Since each column have zero, so no need to perform this step. So next step fifth is put assignment. That is, we have to put put assignment in this particular matrix. So how to put? We have to select single zero from each row. In this first first row, whether it contains single zero or not. Yes, it contains single zero. So we have to put assignment on it and cross all the zeros in this particular column. So we have to cross this. Now move to the second column, second row. In the second row, there is also a single zero. So we have to cut it and also cut this particular zero. Now move to the third row. Third row also contains a single zero. So put assignment on it and cut all the zeros arising in this particular column. So we have to cut this particular zero. Now move to the fourth row. No zero exists. Move to the fifth row. Yes, one zero exists. So put assignment on it and cross all the subsequent zeros in this particular column. Now move to the last row. It contains two zeros. So leave it and now apply this process by column wise. So first column contains uh, assignment. In the second column, there is a single zero. So put assignment on it and cross this particular zero arising in this particular row. Now see, all zeros either have assignment or crossed. And here, the fourth row does not contain assignment. So we have to put a tick rule on it. So now, what we have? Since fourth row does not have assignment. So applying Tick rule. So in tick rule, what do we have to use? First, tick the row which does not have assignment. So which row does not have assignment? This fourth row. Now we have to tick it. In this row, find where is cross zero. This is the cross zero. In which column this cross zero arises? In this particular first column. So tick this first column. Tick this first column. Now select the row which has assignment in this first tick column. So where is the assignment? In this particular second row. So tick it. Now we have selected, we have ticked this particular row so the entire process will again revise that is <coughs> that is we have to again identify cross zero in this particular row if exists then apply then repeat the process if not then process is completed so in this particular row there is no cross zero so the process is completed now we have to draw lines through untick row and tick column so, first, third, fifth, and sixth. Untick row and this tick column. So that all the zeros will cover. Like this, all the zeros covered away. Now, we have to make another matrix. In this matrix, we have to select minimum element from uncovered element. So the minimum element is 2. This is 2. This is from the uncovered element. So what do we have to do? Single covered remains as it is. Subtract from uncovered element and add it to the double covered element. So the minimum element from uncovered element is 2. We have to add here because this is double covered, two line cross it. So 4 plus 2, 6. 
these are the single covered so they remains as it is 2 7 14 10 and 0 this is single covered so remains as it is these all are not covered element so we have to subtract this two from all these elements so 6 13 3 4 0 This eight is double covered, so add two from it in this particular element. So this will convert into ten. These all are single covered. Remain as it is. Seven zero five two six. This is single covered. Remain as it is. These all are not covered elements. So subtract two. So six two five five four. This is double covered element, so we have to add this three. All remains as it is five four zero six three. This zero is also double covered, so this will convert into two zero 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 zero. Now again we have to put assignment. So select the row which has single zero. So first row has single zero. Put assignment on it and cross all the zeros arising in this particular column. Now select the second row if it contains single zero. Yes, it contains single zero. So put assignment on it and cross all the zeros arising in this particular column. Now select the third row. This also contains single zero. So put assignment on it and cross all the zeros. In the next row there is no. No single zero exists. No zero exists. So leave it. Moving to the next element. This all next row. This also contains a single zero. So put assignment on it and cross all the zeros. In the last row, there has there it have two zeros. So leave it. Now apply column wise this method. First row, column contains assignment. Second column does not contain assignment, but it has single zero. So put assignment on it and cross all the zeros arising in this particular row. See in this problem, there is again a row which does not have assignment and a column which also does not have assignment. So again we have to apply tick rule. So what we have to write? Since there is fourth row which does not have assignment, so again we have to apply tick rule. So apply tick rule. How to apply? Select the row which does not have assignment. Then select the column which has cross zero in the uh, in the ticked row. So uh, we have to uh, select this particular column. Now select the row which has assignment in the tick row, tick column. So in the tick column, this row have assignment. So we have to select it. Now. Select the column which has cross zero in this particular row. So there is a cross zero. So we have to select this particular column also. Again, select the row which has assignment in the selected column. So there is a assignment. Now again, select the column which has cross zero. So there is no cross zero. So the method is completed. Now again, draw the lines through antic row and tick column. So this, this, and this. And the tick column, these two, so that all the zeros covered. Now see, all zeros are covered, so we have not made any mistake here. Again, make a new matrix. How to make? Identify the minimum element from the uncovered element. The minimum element is two. So what we have to do? We have to subtract from the uncovered element. Single covered remains as it is, and add to the double covered element. So six is the single covered element remains as it is. These are the uncovered elements. So subtract two from here. So zero, five, twelve, eight. This is single covered remains as it is. This zero is also single covered. These are uncovered elements. So subtract two. So four, eleven, one, two, zero. These this is the double covered element. So we have to add two on it. This will convert into twelve. This is single covered, so remains as it is. This six is also double covered element, so add it. This zero is single covered, remains as it is. These are the uncovered elements, so subtract four zero three three four three zero two five 
फाइव फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू एंड टू फोर जीरो 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 एंड दिस विल कन्वर्ट इन टू टू अगेन एप्लाई और अगेन पुट असाइनमेंट ऑन इट so in this particular problem we already applied two time tick rule so put assignment now see first row have two zeros so leave it second row also have two zeros leave it but the third row have only single zero so put assignment on it and cross all the zeros arising arising in this particular column so cross these two zeros now move to the next row this also contains single zero so put assignment on it and cross all the zeros arising in this particular z column move to the next row this contains this single zero again cross it in the last row there are two zeros so leave it now moving by moving through column wise so first column have assignment second column have two zeros leave it third column have assignment fourth column have assignment fifth column have Single zero, so put assignment on it and cross this zero. In the last column, it has two zeros, so leave it. Again, apply. Now, see, first row wise operation completed, second column wise operation completed. Now, again, apply row wise operation. So, in the first row, again there are two zeros, leave it. In the second column, there are one zero. Put assignment on it and cross this zero. Now, see. what happened only this zero exists so put assignment on it now see all the rows and columns have assignment so no need to move further so the assigned values are a will assign to second b will assign to sixth c will assign to third d will assign to first e will assign to fourth and f will assign to fifth and the minimum cost is what are the minimum costs we have to put original entries in place of assigned values assignments so in this particular case there is the minimum value is original value is 10 for this the minimum value is 12 for the third row the minimum element is minimum value is 3 for the fourth the original value is 6 for the fifth the minimum or the original value is 13 And for the last, the original value is uh, so the minimum cost is thirteen and six, nineteen, nineteen and three, twenty-two or twelve, thirty-four or ten, forty-four. So this is the required solution of this kind of problem. Hope you understand how to solve the unbalanced problem. If you like this lecture, if you enjoyed this lecture, then like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thank you.